all right i can talk so today's video is about uh di and before you know going to detail um i never ever use new keyword to create objects in c sharp and why so because every time we create new we actually using the concrete classes which is bad approach in you know in terms of the dependencies and the tight coupling so i never ever use new keyword in my c sharp code and why so i will explain you that bit in later but first of all what is dependency injection uh dependency injection is a pattern and it's a way where we ask that we i want this object and object will be provided without creating the or without constructing that object manually right so in that dependency injection container we type the dependencies that this concrete class depends uh this interface is implemented by this concrete class or even we directly pass the concrete classes in case of uh .NET dependency injection right so let's start with that and we'll explain you um, each and every uh, step uh, by implementing that di in c sharp console application so first of all what i would need is uh services collection which will be new service collection and that is not service name collection that would be service collection and that will be coming from the dependency injection package and that is microsoft.extensions.dependency injection so let's install that one and that is the only package we need to implement dependency injection pattern so that is included now so next at the very start of the application so the, these these settings are uh, you know related to the very start configurations of the program so we we uh, list all those dependency in a single place and we pass that one at the very start of the program once the program is started uh, the all the dependency mappings are there in the program and when we uh, whenever we want uh, an object uh from that you know from that container we just pass the name and we will get the object constructed without manually you know creating or initializing that object so uh okay so we have that service collection object now let me add a comment let's list or add all the dependencies here so what i mean by that is services collection will have not that service collection sir this is collection uh, that should be services services collection dot add and there are three types of you know uh, ways of um, injecting those um, classes and three types of objects will be uh, generated one is scoped transient and the last one is uh, singleton so there are you know they have the three different purposes so for now uh, let's uh, start with uh, let's start with add transient okay to do uh, add a you know transient kind of dependency let me create an class first and its interface let's name it email service and let's say we have a in we have an interface as well which is public interface ie email service and let's say it, it has a method like send email and uh, let's implement that one um 
and we need to implement that method that's fine like this and we can just simply make that one void just for example purpose make that one void that has implementation and let's go back to the uh, our starting class okay so now here we can add that map that dependency that i email service uh, is implemented by email service right so we have mentioned that uh, whenever we want the object of email service we will be get through i email service the the you know the through the interface not the and create implementation and that is a way to uh, loosely couple the whole system uh, one more thing we can do is we can even pass the whole class as a you know as a concrete class just to make sure that we are even creating the object of those classes through di as well so the the best example would be uh, let's say uh, we have another class uh which name is game right and that game has a method uh let's say us to start so we will have a method like public void start and to start the actual game we need to call that start method let's go back to the program cs and inject that as well so this is collection dot add and now we because uh the game object will be the one at a time so we can mark it as um singleton right then the, it means that there will be only and only one object of that class at a time when i recall the you know same object the same copy will be returned so here we can inject it like um, this way it is uh, game right and another way of writing this one is services collection dot add singleton and we can even write it uh, this way as well type of game right we can do you know we can inject this you know in this way as well okay so the next class uh, the next line would be to uh, build that service collection dot build service provider and this will return us the service collection object uh, service is equals to this and because now we need to start this program and we know that we have that game class so what we will do is services dot get um type uh what would be that dot get service right and that would be game like this and we can say this is our game object and we can simply um, game dot game object dot start and let's put a debugger inside that start method to see if we have successfully uh, implemented that di okay now you can see that the debugger is here right now and if we just uh you know step out we can see we have successfully got the game object and we have called its start method so this is how we can avoid you know new keyword inside our programs uh it's not because uh not because only the the you know clean code but also because the tight coupling that get created due to that new keyword uh, another thing is we need to make sure that our code is you know 
uh, adjusted or or code is uh, you know scattered in a way that we we can understand what is written inside our class so the best way would be we need to move that configuration part somewhere else in a common you know method or a class that will be you know specific for the di you know uh, functionality so we can do is let's go to the view edit and refactor and let's extract a method and the name of the method would be um services di right so now if you see the code is more clean now uh we can write a comment like uh all services configurations uh, game object um, and we simply game started and that should be the only purpose of the startup class or the program.sys class in case of console application uh, hopefully that uh, video will be useful for those who are new in c -sharp programming or even those who are still not using di in their programs so we can use that di design pattern in any type of c sharp related programs not even c sharp in any other programming language either it's console web or desktop so be sure to uh, use that design pattern for you know clean code and the to, to get the maximum benefits of um, unit testing right and tight coupling and there are a lot of other benefits of writing you know code in using di pattern so that was all for this video hopefully uh, you have uh, learned something new in case of any question or query do ask in the comments and till the next video take care bye